hide the shame. Hello. So, I have a story, and it involves hentai. Hentai. What is hentai? Hentai is Japanese art. How can I put this? Um, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, except mommy may not love daddy, then daddy may be a giant tentacle. Okay, let me back up. When I was like 11, I got into anime for the first time. Not like super specific anime. I just watched mainstream anime on Toonami late at night. Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Sailor Moon. But my absolute favorite anime was Naruto. Oh, hot diggity Naruto. Had everything, ninja fights, ninja villages, ninja ramen. But I loved it most because of its very attractive prepubescent ninja boys. I especially loved Gara of the Desert. He fulfilled like every eighth grade emo phase desire of my little mind. Like the guy liner and the black clothes and the red hair. Oh, swoon. But there wasn't a whole lot of romance plots for my favorite boy characters in the TV show. And that, friends, is how I discovered the vast and amazing world of fan fiction. My dark descent into the world of fan fiction started on a certain website called Quizilla, where I would spend hours upon hours reading Naruto fanfics of all the characters playing Spin the Bottle and Seven Minutes in Heaven. This slowly progressed over the years, and I went from reading the fan fiction to watching Japanese videos. Keep in mind this was out where I lived, in the woodlands, so there wasn't a very good internet connection. For a long time we could only have dial-up, and that took like an hour to load each video. But I would wait, just sitting there hunched over by the laptop, waiting on a video to load, like... And you would think that just sitting there with smut on the screen for hours at a time waiting for stuff to load, that I would get caught. But no, I didn't get caught. Mostly. I did this one thing as a kid a lot, besides looking at Japanese porn. This thing I did a lot, that I loved to do, caused a lot of problems. Not for me, but for my sisters. I loved to lie. From diapers to training bra, nothing tickled my dark soul more than a big old dirty lie. And it wasn't even to like cover up my tracks whenever I did something wrong, not always. More so, I, it just amused me to see what I could get away with. But eventually around like second grade, my parents kind of caught on that I lied about everything. So they stopped believing 90% of what I said. So flash forward to third grade, I was perusing the interwebs, looking at some fan fiction and fan art, waiting on the dial up. and I was browsing this one fan art site waiting for the pictures to load. Rather innocently, I might add, as well as reading like nasty fan fiction, looking at nasty fan art, I like looked at normal stuff too. But the thing with dial-up is that like it would take forever for the thumbnails to load. And I knew who my favorite artists were for fan art, so I would just click on one of their random pictures and just wait for that to load. So I'm doing that, I'm scrolling through and I'm clicking random photos. At this point, my mom comes in and she looks at the screen and she's like, Hey Beth, what you doing? And we're still all innocent here, like I'm literally just waiting for a piece of fan art to load on the screen not with a dial-up connection. And one trick that I had to make a picture load faster with dial-up was if you scroll to the bottom of the screen, then it's quicker for the graphics to load because it's not like showing you the picture as it loads. I don't know why that worked, but it did. But also that didn't look innocent. It looked like I just scrolled to the bottom of the screen in a big mad dash. But I was just like, I'm just waiting for something to load. And she was like, why are you, uh, scroll down to the bottom of the screen? You trying to hide something? And in my head, as someone who likes to read a lot of Lemon fanfiction and watch hentai in her spare time, I'm pretty smug about this situation because I know that I'm trying to look at something normal. I know I'm not gonna get caught. I'm not getting caught today. Or any day. So I tell her the truth. I say, it's so it will load faster. And she's like, why don't you, uh, scroll up? I want to see what you're looking at. Okay, whatever. I got nothing to hide, so I'll scroll back up to the top of the screen. And it did not look innocent. I won't say what was on the screen, but I will say the artist was very realistic. And I will also say I was not smug anymore. My mom just loses it. She goes, so this is what you've been looking at on the internet for all these hours? Really? Really? Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 this is what you've been doing. And in my head, I'm like, well, yeah, usually, but not today. But I say to her, I didn't know what I was loading, I swear. 
And maybe she would have believed me if I wasn't such a darn dirty liar all the time. And then she says the worst thing that it just made my blood run cold. But well, wait till your father hears about this. You ever get so scared you taste blood? Like you have not known true fear until the blood rush into your cheeks in embarrassment starts leaking into your mouth. It's the kind of scared where like, you start smiling out of nervousness, not cause you think it's funny, but you're just so dang scared. So my mom brings my dad into the room and she's pissed cause I'm smiling. And she starts pointing at the screen like, look, look what your daughter has been doing on the internet. Well, Bethany, what have you got to say for yourself? This is really happening, isn't it? Now, I've been embarrassed quite a few times in my life, but let me tell you, that is the only time I have ever been so embarrassed that it felt like my head was being tumbled in a dryer. My mom's screaming, my dad's staring, and the room is spinning. It just felt like I was falling into this deep, dark pit that hentai had dug me into. And what my dad says next just plops down on the tip of the iceberg that is my inner meltdown. He looks at the screen, dead-eyed, and then he says, Well, I figured this would happen eventually, just not when she was so young. <laughs> now if you don't mind, I'm going back to my fishing show. Yeah, aside from my mom yelling at me a bit and being banned from the computer for that day, I didn't really get into any trouble. In all my stories, I always seem to get away with things. Why do I get away with everything? No, that's not true. I immediately stopped getting away with watching hentai as soon as I got to college. It's like my roommate knew. Every single time that I wanted to watch a video, it was like, Oh my god, you're back early! So, if there's anything to be learned from this, dear children, it's that if you want to see some tentacle action, read fanfiction. Story titles like Inuyasha Spin the Bottle look a little more innocent than a wiggling tentacle on the screen. So fanfiction is where it's at. At least if you don't have a lock on your door. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that story and enjoyed my PTSD flashbacks of it. And I also hope that you guys would be up for hanging out with me on YouNow. I've linked my YouNow account in the description below. And I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you. Much love.